The old saying goes that kicking ain't easy, and the Vikings have had their share of kicking misery uh, over the last couple of years, whether it's Gary Anderson. Gary Anderson hasn't missed a field goal in two years. Unbelievable. Uh, Blair Walsh, shank at the bank. The whole debacle with Daniel Carlson, who's now like an all-pro with the Raiders. No big deal. Uh, but last year, Greg Joseph... Who never trust a guy with two first names, but Greg seems fine. Uh, despite the miss against Arizona, kicked extremely well last year. So well that the Vikings picked up his RFA tender. He was making two and a half million bucks this year, and he also cleared out competition uh, in the form of UDFA kicker Gabe Burkic uh, out of Oklahoma, who's now signing with the Packers. And yeah, that's going to work out just extremely well. And enter special teams coordinator Matt Daniels, brand, brand new special teams coordinator. Uh, spent the last couple years with the Cowboys. Previously was with the Rams. Uh, he is the, the protege of John Bones Fossil, who's one of the best special teams coordinators in recent uh, NFL history. So Matt Daniels got everything going for him. I'm really hyped up uh, for him. And he is hyped up for Greg Joseph. Here's what he said training camp on Monday. Quote, I'll put it on record right now and say that I firmly believe Greg Joseph will have his best year of his career this year. Uh, I'll put it out there right now. I'm sure of it. The way he finished up his summer, the way he prepared, and how he has come back and hit the football uh, has been the best uh, I, that I've seen him. I've only been around for four to five months, but I, I think he's missed two kicks out of 35 kicks in three sessions that we've had, hitting about 92-93%. Uh, you can just tell that the process and the approach that he is taking on each individual kick, you can tell that he's just dialed in. I'm excited for Greg. I'm thrilled to have him as my kicker. That's my place, kicker. Uh, I, it's going to be a heck of a year for him. So, woo! I mean, get you someone who is hyped up about you as Matt Daniels is hyped up about Greg Joseph. Now, Vikings fans, like, like we understand. Like, like, if you inflate something too much, if you love something too much, we, we know how this movie ends. And it's a snuff film. It's no bueno. But uh, I can see why Matt Daniels is hyped up about Greg Joseph. Greg, uh, l like we said, despite the miss against Arizona, uh, did uh, really good things last year. He was 33 of 38 on field goals, 86.6%, 16th in the NFL, which is sort of average, whatever. Uh, but in including 7 from 9 from 50 plus, which was third best in the NFL, minimum 9 attempts. Uh, he was 14 to 18 from 40 plus. Uh, and also, his big time kicks last year, they were numerous. Uh, the 53-yarder uh, at the end of regulation against the Bengals week one to send that game to overtime. The future Super Bowl uh, participant Bengals, by the way. And the Vikings would have won that game except for Dalvin fumble. Still pissed off. Stupid refs. Like, well, the Bengals are like, oh, he fumbled. Even though there's no visual evidence that he put the ball on the turf, the Bengals are like, oh, he fumbled. So the refs are like, oh, he must have fumbled. It's ridiculous, man. Not that I'm still bitter. And then you had that 54-yard game winner against the Lions at home. Now... They only needed the game winner from Greg Joseph because he missed a field goal earlier. So he sort of uh, created the crisis, and then uh, magically he was the answer. We've seen that before. And then he had the 29-yard game yarder against the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers. So uh, he did hit some big kicks uh, last season, and I, I do think – that Matt Daniels hype uh, is justified. I, I do think that Greg Joseph, if he can work out some of his uh, uh, intermediate accuracy issues, I think that he can become uh, the next like big leg uh, kicker in the NFL. Uh, third leg, uh, Greg Joseph, just getting after him, man. So, yeah, I I'm hyped. I'm glad that there's no kicking drama and there's no kicking competition. There's a punting competition going on, except I think Jordan Berry's going to win that going away. And it, it does seem like Greg Joseph and then Jordan Berry holding and Andrew DiPaolo snapping I think that they formed a nice uh, triumvirate, a nice triangle of authority uh, going on uh, at, at that spot. So just one less thing to worry about. Please, please, can we just do that? Uh, but, of course, we, we know. We know. Like, as Vikings fans, we've seen this one before. What can you do? But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Greg Joseph gets hyped, hyped up on Matt Daniels. Woo! Love it, man. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.